Hello, I'm Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you're looking to buy a new desktop PC or maybe a new laptop, or maybe you want to build yourself a system and you need looking to buy a processor and a motherboard and so on, it's really important to choose the right CPU for your needs and for your budget. But the problem is there are so many choices. The i3, the i5, the i7, the i9, the Ryzen 3, the Ryzen 5, the Ryzen 7, the Threadripper, it just goes on and on and on. And each one of those has different model numbers and different generations and different price points and different performance characteristics. Now that means it can be quite a minefield trying to work out which is the best CPU for you. Well, today I want to show you three websites that will make finding the best CPU for your needs a whole lot easier. So if you want to find out some more, please let me explain. Okay, so the first website is arc.intel.com. It's where Intel lists all their product specifications. So here you see there are processors and servers and mini PCs and chipsets and memory and storage, networking. And if we want to look for a CPU, let's say I found a CPU uh, on a new PC I want to buy, it's the i5-7400. Well, I can search for that and up comes uh, Intel's results tell me that in fact there are two. There's the T version and the non-T version. So if I click on the non-T version, it gives me this list of all the essential information about the processor. For example, it tells me it's a seventh generation uh, i5 processor. It's formally, its code name is KB Lake. So when you hear people talking about, oh, it's KB Lake, then you say, oh, I, I know what that is. It tells me when it was launched. It tells me uh, what uh, process node process node was used to create it 14 nanometers. But now we get to the interesting stuff. It's got four cores and four threads. It runs at three gigahertz. It can turbo boost up to 3.5 uh, gigahertz. It, you, it generates 65 watts of heat. That's important when I'm thinking about what kind of case I want, whether I want one with a big fan, whether I want lots of uh, sort of ventilation going on there. It tells me it supports up to 64 gigabytes, so that's good. I know that I'm if I'm looking to build a very big machine, I know what kind of limits I've got. It supports DDR4 and DDR3. It's got a built-in uh, Intel HD graphics 630 processor, and so on and so on. We can go through this whole page and look at all the different things about this product but more than that I can also use it to compare so let's say I want to compare this one with well I also read that there was another one called the i5-8400 well what what's that about what, what's the difference so I can add that to my compare I can hit the compare button up here and up comes the two processors next to each other here on the left column is the 8400 then we've got the 7400 and I can look down ah right this is an eighth generation in fact it's the eight there that gives that away and we'll talk more about that in another video I can see when it was launched well this was launched in Q1 this was launched in Q4 oh this is six cores compared to this one having four cores and now I can I can go through and compare it so you may have narrowed down your choice for your new PC or for your new processor to maybe three or four and you can look here and work out uh, what the um, the best processor for you is there's also here it tells you the price the kind of recommended consumer uh, customer price so you know actually they were launched about the same price point and so you say well actually then I would choose this one rather than that one because actually I'm getting it for the same money now AMD has a very similar site it's called products.amd.com and you can look here and they've got their desktop processors they've also got this of their graphics cards they've got their laptop processors they've got their server processors and so for example we can say oh well let's find out about some Ryzen processors you click on the link and it will come up with a list of all the different processors that are available you can scroll down there's also search just like the other one we can click on it and say okay tell me about the Ryzen 7 1700x then please oh it's a ryzen 7 okay this is its release date we can find out how much cash it's got we can find out it's built on the same 14 nanometer process it's got oh eight cores 16 threads oh that's different than the intel and you can basically go through it again and look at the differences of what is available in the different processors that uh, amd offer and um, intel offer but that's still hard to get you an actual comparison of the performance so there's another website called c cpubenchmark.net and they list basically the performance of the different CPUs so in here if we wanted to look we we go we can look for our i5-8400 and we can do a search and it will come up and it will give you the researches for the whole site and there are articles on here as well which is better but if we look here past mark 
We click on it and it will tell us all about this process. It's got a pass mark of 11,787. Okay, well, that's interesting. But what does that tell me? If you go down here a bit more, it lists it, ranks it against other processors. So now I can see, ah, uh, look, this i5-8400 is actually about the same speed as an i7 4790k oh that's interesting but more than that down here it gives you the price kind of performance ratio so actually if i want a really cheap but fairly good processor i might go for an, an older fx one from amd but actually this is pretty good here as well the i5 but if i go right down here i can see that these ones are more expensive in fact if you return to those search results we should be able to find Okay, uh, a page which kind of lists the kind of current desktop processors. Here they are. Now our i5-8400 is going to be in here somewhere. We can just use search to find that. i584. Okay, there it is there. Okay, so there we can see it's listing 11,787. And we can go right up to the top here. And we can see, well, look, there's some i9s here at the top that are really pushing out the performance barrier. There's a rise on Threadripper that's also pushing it out. But look at the prices. This is $2,000 almost for just for this CPU. If I go back down to my i5 and, and its friends, then, well, I'm paying a whole different price for these. What am I paying here? Look, $199. Oh, well, the one below it isn't very good. Look, that's $500 almost. So I like this one. This is a good price performance. Oh, look at this, a Ryzen 5. That's got a similar performance, 159. And you can start to make all these decisions and work out how much money you want to pay and how much uh, power, how much processing power uh, you want. Now, just because something is uh, slow and old doesn't mean that it's actually no good. I and mean, look at this, the A8 here. Look at that, it's really cheap. That's $68. So maybe you're looking for a second PC. Maybe you're looking for a PC for your kids or a PC for running maybe some server software or running Plex or whatever. Well, actually, that's maybe worth getting this than spending you know two thousand dollars on the latest it's your choice but these three sites give you the information that you need hey there i'm gary sims and this is gary explains i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up you know the drill please subscribe please share on social media and please comment down below tell me what you thought about the video okay that's it see you in the next one